the ability to dis display information uh, like directions or messages or notifications, uh, the ability to add digital objects like the chessboard or the TV screen I was talking about, and the ability to enhance existing objects like uh, your home or your face. Now, I used to think that glasses were going to be the first mainstream augmented reality. Have games like Pokemon, where uh, you can overlay a digital Pokemon on top of the real world in front of you. And for enhancements, we have things like face filters and style transfers to make our images and videos more fun. Relationship uh, with objects around them in their environment. So there's an AI technique for doing this called simultaneous localization and mapping, or SLAM, uh, for those of you in the, the AI community. And um, here's how this works. So you're going to be able to easily create anything you want. You can write a fun message next to your breakfast, and, and it's going to be able to slide onto the table. And since we understand the depth of the table, you saw it was occluded in the right place as it came up. And you're going to be able to pan around, and it's going to maintain its position on the table exactly uh, as if it were a real object in the world. So we can make this more fun. Let's add some, uh, some breakfast sharks uh, swirling around my bowl. Uh, some clouds, and you know, there you go. It, it's got the depth right, so when they go behind the ball, uh, they're, they're occluded, it, it gets the depth of the table and all that. All right, so th there's some pretty involved AI work uh, to, to make this all work, and, and we can do this on a phone. So, uh, now, but we're just getting started. This is, this is just the first one that I want to show you. These are the technological foundations for advanced AR. Let's go to the next one. Now, since we're mapping out uh, these scenes in 3D, right, since we have the depth of an image, we can go from taking a still photo to mapping out a whole 3D scene. So this actually is, was taken from a 2D still image in our office in Seattle. And from the still photo, we constructed a 3D scene. And now, because it's a 3D scene, we can pan around. How crazy is that? Crazy. <laughs> All right. We can change the lighting. We can turn the lighting down. We can move the lighting from the front of the room to the back. And you can add um, all kinds of effects. You know, we can fill the room up with water if we want. Again, it's got the depth right. Uh, you can add a lot of bouncy balls. We're a fan of bouncy balls. And, uh, and we can fill the room up with Skittles, because the future is delicious. <laughs> I can't help it. All right. Um, now, look, we, we also have some of the best uh, computer vision and uh, object recognition work in the world. So that's going to help you identify different things in the scene to uh, help you surface relevant effects that you want to check out. So you're going to be able to tap on the coffee mug, and we're going to surface effects that are relevant to coffee. All right, so you can add steam. Uh, you can add a second coffee mug so it looks like you're not drinking, uh, you're not having breakfast alone. <laughs> and uh, since it's a digital object, you can, you can make it bigger if you want or smaller. You can make it any size you want. You can tap on the plant. You can add flowers that are blooming. You can uh, water the plant with a rain cloud or whatever else it is that you do with plants, I guess. Um, you can tap on the wine bottle, and you can add an information card right, that, that, shares, that, that shows um, you know, what the vintage of the wine is and you know, what the rating is and maybe where to get it or maybe even the future even a link to buy it. It's an AR tool that Nike created for helping you uh, visualize and share your runs in some fun new ways. Now, in augmented reality, we are going to face near constant reminders that EMA is in better shape than us. They actually are really important and meaningful because they give us the ability to share what matters to us on a daily basis. Let's talk about games. Now, more than a billion of us play games. And I think that there's going to be a whole new genre of augmented reality games coming. So here's an example of a father playing an augmented reality game with his kids in the waiting room at the doctor's office. We're using the table in the waiting room as the, the game board for a, a tower defense game, and the kids can kind of slap the bad guys before they get to you. Now, there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff like this that comes, and I'm pretty excited about this. This part of the platform is going to come a bit later this year. So, you know, this is actually this is a piece at Facebook headquarters. And, you know, without augmented reality, this actually just looks like a blank wall. But when you are in augmented reality, you get this beautiful piece of art that's not just a painting on the wall, but it fills up the whole space. And it's 3D. And not only that, it, it's, it's something that would be impossible to build uh, or, or make in, in reality, because you have this infinite waterfall of, of paint coming down. And it's, um, it's, it's, 